Hey everybody, it's DJB. Welcome to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Darren and this is my Briarfest 2024 haul. Starting with the celebration horse, this is Athenian Lady. She was there during the weekend and Briar did a great job of this lovely lady. She has that really cute stripe, a nice orangey chestnut, and she has all the authentic markings. Then I got Special Run Fighter and Survivor. This set is sculpted by Kylie Parks, and this is one of my favorite briar molds, honestly. She's so cool. She's super heavy. They did a wonderful job of this bay. She's got really subtle dapples. Her baby is equally as cute. His legs were a little bit warpy from the heat, but that's easy to fix with a hair dryer. Then I got two of the Girls Rule the World surprise horses. I pulled this wonderful chestnut Sabino. She's so pretty. But you know me and you know I'm an Appaloosa fan, so I had to go for seconds and get this wonderful blanket Appaloosa variation. I was able to find one over the weekend. Then I got This Is My Fight Song, and this was the variant. They had two different variations, and this is the one that stands on its tail, which is really cool. I actually prefer this version of the sculpture. Then I had to get an always chipper. This pony was so grumpy in real life. He was so funny. But they did a really great job of this. I love this mold and I'm a sucker for black and white pintos. He has the cutest little undercarriage markings. And then I also got Alan, all in a day's work. <laughs> and he was the mule that was on site during the festival. And we just have to have a cute little derpy mule. Sculpture is kind of lumpy, but they did a really good job of the blanket pattern. And he has really cool frosting on his body. I was really happy with him. Then I was able to find a Casper. It's taken me years to find this horse. I don't know why, but this one was mint, new in box. Briar did such nice black spec. This is a Briar Jingles, who I traded for, and she's cute. I honestly think I'm gonna end up selling her. She's not my favorite. She's not as cute as I thought she would be. So these two were my grails. I traded these guys for one of my volunteer horses, and this is Decoupage, an impressionistic page. And this is my favorite mold ever, so to have this set is super special to me. I've always wanted them. I also managed to get a Scallywag. I'm obsessed with the paint job on this horse. It's not my favorite sculpture in the world, but I just couldn't get him out of my head and I've wanted him for years. So the fact I was able to get one was very exciting, especially at my first Briar Fest. I sold one of my Alborozos and used the money to buy him. So technically he was free. I got two bodies over the weekend when one of which was this little Arabian Stallion stable mate. And I rescued this Brighty with chewed up ears and feet. So I have to do something fun with him. Sasha gave me this beautiful medallion of hers. Very excited to paint him. And Raven gave me this pair of Mustangs from her medallion club called Unbreakable. I bought an Oracle medallion from Kylie. This was the last one she had, and I've always kind of wanted this one. And then I got this Maggie Bennett Micro. Amanda Brock's Cassian sculpture. She did him in pink for the Mojo Dojo Casa horse event, and I just can't get over his mane. I love it so much. I walked away and then had to go back and get him. And I'm glad that I did, because he's really cool. I'm excited to paint him with spots. I also got Vincent Lang's Equessa, Equisa resin. And she's super cool because she is a horse donkey mule hybrid. So all of her mane, tail, and ear parts detach and come with variations. So you're able to pick which variation you want, sculpt them, to the model and then paint the whole thing so so cool i managed to get this classic arabian that was on my wish list super rare edition and he was not very expensive either 
I got this classic walking mare and honestly kind of regret buying this one. I think I'm going to end up selling her or customizing her. I don't necessarily need her. She is just okay. I'm not sure what the brain process was. <laughs> I was shopping. <laughs> then I found a cassette. I've been looking for a cassette for years and I saw like eight of them in the Clarion. So very excited to have her. She was a really good price as well. And honestly, one of my favorite purchases from the weekend. Her color is just magical. I love it. Then I was able to find this Thorbred Racing Manowar. And this was like a special edition one that was like kind of hard to find. I found two of these Manowars more rare editions that are harder to find and I love both of them. I got them both at an incredible price. Their paint job is just super nice and shimmery and shaded in all of the right ways and I'm a sucker for Maureen Love Bowl. I got this classic running cloud and I had Ginger Catherine's sign him and that was like very exciting. This is my special souvenir. So I picked this one because he's a little bit smaller than the traditional. A classic black and white Pinto foal. This was one of the Mustang Walmart series foals. I really like this mold, so I got a couple different variations on him, including this dark Palomino. I don't know who he was, but he was cute and he had to come home with me. I also got a mint version of the Appaloosa I already actually had, but this was the modified mold one so I'm not actually 100% sure which one I like better. I also managed to find a Cloud Flint, a Maureen Love classic Mustang foal and he's super cute too. I really like him so I'm excited to have him. And then I had a Halflinger full party so I found a few of these guys and I couldn't pass any of them up. They were all relatively inexpensive and even if I don't end up keeping them for my OF collection, I can customize them because it's a really lovely sculpture and I've always had a soft spot for it in my heart. This chestnut one is probably my favorite. And I also started majorly conga-ing this warm blood cantering full mold. It's one of my favorites that I have loved from the very beginning and there was just a lot of them to pick from at Briarfest and I have a lot of them already. I have a whole army of them so I was able to snag quite a few and I have them all lined up and they're really cute on display so I'm excited about that. My mom also kind of collects this sculpture as well so we can share them if I don't want them but again they're also really great to customize if I feel bored and don't want them as OFs anymore. For the stable mates I got a navigator. This little warm blood from one of the puzzle sets I think it was. She was rare and hard to find. This is Mariah's Boone who I paid like five dollars for. This Morgan in buckskin is so pretty, except he doesn't stand and he knocked over all of the horses on the shelf and broke one. <laughs> Vintage Club Misty. I paid way too much for this, but she cute. I also got a Newport, who is the new Collector's Club modified running thoroughbred. This guy was from one of the Saddle Club sets, I believe. Really cute. More black and white Pintos. That's my jam. Just this dressage horse. I went stable mate crazy. This black and white Alborozo. I've seen this one a few times and definitely wanted him before. So. A Cassidy in blue roan. I found a Brio for a really good deal. He's cute. This little Highland Pony has really wonderful shading. Couldn't pass him by. I wanted this guy for my kanga. I got another one of these because she's better conditioned than the one I already had. Black and white gets me every time. Doesn't matter what mold it's on, it gets me. I do like the American Saddlebred on this. This is a mistake. And this is a, another one that I had already had in my collection, but she had a broken leg, so I got a new one because I wanted a mint one. 
also the black and white Pasifino was really cute too. And I finally found the blue Dahlia. This horse is crazy in person. She's so pretty. I love me a good croy and this blue color is wild. Really cute playing Appaloosa. A little Grula running full. This full mold is to die for. I got him in purple unicorn and studio green because he's so cute. And I'm gonna keep all of these as OFs, but I'd love to paint one of these. I also got some of these like metal frogs, which is funny. That's the entire haul. There it all is on my bed, like I've always dreamed of. And I spent way too much money, but I acquired many grails and it was a very exciting time to be at the Clarion and see all of the briars you've ever dreamed of. Oh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all had a wonderful Briar Fest as well.